I go to sixth, seventh, and eighth standard students. One of the schools, there were 60 students from three standards. One of the students asked me, Sir, is there life on the Mars? See where six, seven standard students are thinking. Then I asked him, what do you require to be there, for a life to be there? Some students said water, some said oxygen. Then I told them that Mars has only 3% nitrogen. Now the punchline comes. One guy asked me, sir, what would be the state of DNA there? From where amino acids would come? We have 80, 79% nitrogen. We are a nitrogen rich planet. And we have not yet understood nitrates. This guy of seven standard, he opened my eyes never to underestimate the audience. So that is how, sir, what is acceptable, you may retain, what is, no, you can ask or we can go deeper, we all will learn. So how much water do we have on the planet? Dr. David Suzuki and Pillu once said that if entire world water is frozen into a cube. It is cloud water, ocean water, river, lake, underground, atmospheric moisture, everything. Then each side of the cube would be 11, 20 kilometers. All you know, but I'm just giving you the proportion. Now, only under 3% of that water is fresh water. Water cycle volume is less than 1% and available water is 0.34%. Now, more than population, our attitude and behavior changes and they put more pressure. Going back to some earlier things. <clears throat> now, EcoSquare is a concept in my mind where economy and ecology have a close handshake. You have carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and they are, these are the gases coming from that. They are fundamental organic molecules, and you have boron, phosphate, iron, etc. Both have a meeting point. One is a pyramid, another is inward pyramid. The top pyramid governs the, dictates the principles of reactions. Following those principles, the molecules that follow are represented in the pyramid. These are various combinations. Oxygen with its high electronegativity. Oxygen does not release its electron easily. That is electronegativity. And the king of the entire symphony is sulfur. Sulfur is something sewage engineers have not given due importance in malodorous substance that qualifies it to be neglected. Sulfur and hydrogen we need to understand. This is H2O, which is a physical water. And the reactive water, living water, which is known as activated water, is this, which is H3O plus. It behaves like an ion. Now this ion, H plus, is the proton energy which now the mankind is trying to learn. 
we want energy we want more power station we want more hydro stations but why do we need energy nobody knows we just want it more but anything more is a cost so yesterday i had a friend from uh, Lada. she was saying one thing we want more, we want more. Ladakh dry toilets were wonderful. Then little down the hill, there were some resorts and tourist sports and all that. And members started coming, tourists. And they don't respect nature. They pay 10,000 rupees a day, so they want to do anything. And now it is in a mess. So I just told her that why Ladakh was fine? People were not uh, producing sewage. They were. We urbanites put water in sewage and that messed up the planet world over. Colon is designed to absorb water. We as learned people are putting more water and using water as a liquid belt. So the microbes that understood proton energy came 4 billion years ago. We came only 500,000 years ago, 0.5 million. That is physiological water. This is the map I have described it earlier. This is the flag of the planet Earth. The flag of the planet Earth This is the soil part. That is the one of the areas of the focus today. So water is on this planet for 4.5 billion years. The planet was not beautiful. Oxygen came 2.5 billion years ago, 2.33, not that beautiful. Soil came it started 800 million years ago, soil formation. And then along with that, it reached its peak at around 400 million years ago. And that provided the takeoff. Soil has three important factors. It is the water bank, not ocean, no dam, not turbines, nothing else. There's the greatest gene library. One spoonful of soil contains 100 trillion microbes. All these three components contribute to the climate stability. So this is where soil and climate axis is established. Climate disturbance starts with a hole in the land and not in the sky. If you want to think of st climate stability, we'll have to stop using tube well for water extraction and throwing water inside the belly of the earth. We'll see that later. Be it solid or gaseous waste or anything, we, yes, we all manufacture weapons of mass destruction. All carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, etc. from carbs and lipids and proteins, we have short chain fatty acids, I'll not bother you there. Then it gives us methane and nitrogen containing sources give us ammonia, which later on gives us nitrous oxide. Now CH4 is 25 to 30 times more potential as a greenhouse gas. 
Then carbon dioxide in nitrous oxide is 300 times more potential than carbon dioxide. Now, both are strong greenhouse gases. And imagine not Russia or America or China alone, all seven plus billion manufacture this every day. Plus our cotton, landfills, solid waste, paper waste, everything, every cellulose, every vegetable, vegetation, everything, waste contributes to this. So methane has to be sequestered into carbon. N N2 should be sequestered to nitrogen. That is the role of fungi. Each member playing for the safety of all the life on this planet will have to be considered. Now here is an artist depiction. The atmospheric rivers coming down heavily on condensation. I, I try to study the scriptures and religion and tradition and try to synthesize that information with modern technological findings. Shivji, an unparalleled atmospheric chemist and environmental scientist in my view. He came on the planet 15,000 years ago, like you and me, he was there. And so it's a history, it's, it's not a myth. There was so much of cloud bursts and all that. So all the rishis and all that, they requested him to control this flow of rain. Atmospheric rivers funneling down the spout with high velocity. I'll, I'll show you the velocity of that in one of my uh, subsequent slides. Jata Dhari. Jata Dhari is open hair. Now, open air is what? It is the vegetation of, of the hills and forests. We have to see their language, their depiction at the time of expressions available then. So it was all meant to increase the albedo effect. That gave us Nilkant. Now, what was Nilkant? due to a lot of water and all that, even hill slide and uh, surface runoff and uh, eutrophication, algal bloom, everything was happening then. And that gave us algal bloom to cyanotoxins, cy cyanobacteria were there. Now these toxins, nobody was willing to accept. So they requested uh, Shankarji, to spare the rest of the living form from this. And he gulped the toxins, but he retained in the neck. He did not allow it to go into the stomach. Now these are all uh, Kathakar's uh, depictions that time. But we know what is cyanotoxin and the price we paid when we studied Dr. Stephen Hawking's state of illness. Now, all our gods and scriptures have a shunk, a molluscan shell. Now, ocean acidification and the smallest are nature's wastewater agents. One three inch size of oyster can treat two to four, one to two to four liters of wastewater per hour. You can imagine millions of them employed. And uh, Professor Sandra Postel, she's working on this, on her river rejuvenation.
This is a horizontal scale showing the age of the Earth. The first half of the planet was anoxic. Water was there for four and a half billion years since beginning. The second half was oxic. Atmospheric oxygen came. Only during one ninth last phase of 500 million years, we got the soil and that shot up the vegetation, greenery, chlorophyll containing, using plants and all that. Now, the soil microbes are primed to consume greenhouse gases. All our urban life and development, so-called, is not given due importance to the soil. Same thing, but I am putting one oxygen element. Yes. At one stage, oxygen nearly 200 million years ago went up to 33%. 34% and then it stabilized at 21. So rust in loop, the soil is green in function. And oxygen became the terminal electron acceptor only during these 500 million years. First four billion years, it was sulfur that was the terminal oxygen acceptor. So now all the mechanisms happening in the soil they decide the climate that we are going to get. This was a cloud, 12 kilometers of moisture column on 26th of July, 2005. But you can call it Gangaji, but there was no Shankara to use his jetta. So atmospheric river to Gangaji to Shivji to soil and soil gave birth to rivers. Rivers gave birth to flood plains. And after that, the running water went to the ocean, which would come back as a cycle. Water cycle is 12 days long. Now we say that rivers are the seat of human civilization. That's not true. Observation is correct. But it was the flood plain, the organic soil and other material that the floods brought from the hill and higher slopes and descending region all throughout its journey. It settled down and when the flow was more, it spread laterally. That gave us flood plains. And it was this soil of flood plains that gave us the fertile land. You can see the same cloud bursting in the ocean. Now, the Bombay cloud burst that we have had seen. 12 kilometer of moisture column came down in one day. And there is, there is no way administration can do anything. If at all we want to stop that kind of cloud burst, we should address the soil and start from the beginning. I already mentioned, so I'll skip this. Now, how the soil structure sets the whole motion. These are the tube well pumps, which once gave us a green revolution idea. 
we could take out water anytime, whether there is rain or no rain, monsoon or no monsoon. And we started agriculture. And the water table started going down. We call it cone of depression. Due to excess groundwater extraction, even petroleum, total volume of silt and clay reduced, soil compaction lost, and California, while extracting petroleum, have paid a heavy price and still they are not out of it. As a result, the topsoil lost the support from beneath and started developing depressions. Subsidence is the cause of all extractions of the tube well water, underground water. So rainwater harvest is discontinue all the tube wells. This is the first step. The second one is acid drain waters, decalcification of the layers underneath. It will further damage the soil compaction because we have a lot of sulfur dioxide. An average 600 in 30 megawatt thermal call uh, power station releases 2000 2, m cube of sulfur dioxide every day that comes down is h2so4 so rainwater belongs to the sea uh, to the soil and not to the underground Whole world is water stressed. Cities are epicenters of desertification. You can read it, this is all there. Today, world over, all the nations are, have, are having increased desert, deserts than what they had 50 years ago, except Israel. Now, before urbanization, evapotranspiration was 40%. The deep infiltration and shallow infiltration was 50%. Only runoff was 10%. I have taken these slides from uh, John Tillman Lele and uh, Ian Mekhar. They are wonderful architect, land planners, but fundamentally ecologists. As the urbanization advanced, ISC advances, impervious layer increases. Now, after 30, to 50 years, I see deep infiltration is 15% and shallow infiltration is 20%. Runoff is 30, ET has gone down to 35. This is what is the state of urban affairs and all the urban regions are drawing heavily on natural resources. Now, what is sand grains destiny? One is construction. Each year, one New York is added to this planet. Sorry, the T is missing. That is 35 meter high and 25 meter wide belt around the equator is added every year. And in nature, river bed if a sand grain remains in the riverbed, it is a seat of denitrifiers that would consume greenhouse gases. Is civil industry green? We are taking every segment, whether green or not green, every technology is used. Whether civil industry is green, that is our point. And this is California. Lake Med. That was June 28, 
the tub bath bathtub kind of thing and the white rock exposed that is because of 22 23 years of drought and if this drought continues for two more years the water level will go down to a stage where the turbines will stop working so wetlands or flood plains we have not understood this is blue carbon the rhizomes rhizomes have sulfur to nitrogen ratio 1 to 37 all topsoil structures animal or plants have sulfur nitrogen ratio 1 to 16 so the nitrogen which is notorious either is to be available a sequestered molecular unbound nitrogen is n2 in the atmosphere or it should be bound i'm just trying to show you how microbes work don't worry about the terminology yes we go to the tube well and other things flood plains wetlands all we have sucked up that water and the steady water level in a tube well is same in the soil all around more we suck water more it draws water and the soil water goes down top soil is desiccated Now, what happens between land and water? We have a river bank as an organic bridge. Some of my PPT stages are not available. You can see on the right, the surface is not paved, it's natural. So the soil biota and soil moisture is intact. As a result, the summer water level does not fall way below. Where we have paved impervious lining, no soil water reserves, no soil biota, and water regeneration from the soil is not available. See, the biota is growing. Now we are going to river front. All the river front shoreline are paved, concretized. This vertical line in the middle of the tree you see is the original reference point. Monsoon level paved with impervious lining, no soil, no biota. Summer level is gone. In natural soil, natural shoreline, the flow is reversed. Subsoil moisture flow is reversed. This water is missing. E water is ecological, E river, E river, it is ecological water demand of the river and life therein. Now this storm water drains is the culprit. We want to get rid of the flood. Without bothering that we have occupied flood plains. Now this piped water, Raviji asked, uh, Hariji asked me a few days ago, Pipe connection bringing water to river cuts off water and soil relationship.
So when floodplains and rivers are dry or lakes are dry, we started building. So, the entire disturbance starts with a hole in the land. Now we have no water. So, not only our rivers, our tubules are also going dry. These are various depictions, desiccated bottom part, desiccated soil, e river gone, ecological river or ecological water requirement of river is all gone. In the top diagram, we have water percolating from the river and the floodplains. In the summer, summertime, the flow is reversed, but the river flow, minimum flow, that is one third of the flood flow is maintained. This is right in front of my house. And no one wins when our rivers die. See all the boards, their family, their living and everything gone. I already discussed this. So SO2 comes back as H2SO4. Germany had an auto bloom and all the S oxides and N oxides came back as HNO3 and H2CO3. And initially the soil magnesium and calcium was available and there was luxuriant growth. But with subsequent years, this acidic rain separated magnesium and calcium and they reached a deeper layer beyond the reach of the plants. And West Germany lost one third of its forests. And we are Surat with all tertiary treatment plant claims are laying a very big diameter, perhaps around two meter diameter pipeline, which will release the waste, sewage, human waste into the sea. The moment we think of releasing wastewater in the sea is a proof that we are unable to treat it. No matter what primary treatment, secondary treatment or uh, nth stage of treatment. So these are my studies. I have just observed something and study, learned. I'll just share with you. This was in Kutch. No mix ecosent commode we used for uh, the villagers there. And Dr. Peter Morgan was advocating this in African countries in uh, 1960s. I did the piping, of course, uh, workers did it, but I had to guide them. You can see the urinary tube is different, fecal passage is different. And then nursery in the native soil. These are all broken bislary bottles, plastic water bottles. And in that soil, we planted seeds and they sprouted germination started. So this was 500 square meter area. Please mark the cabin on the right middle. We removed all acacia and cleaned it like this. Collected cow dung and all that. The water supply we had was 25 liter per capita. We used that same 25 liter per capita water. That water was treated with very primary treatment in a septic tank, which was designed by me. Low pressure pipe. The pipe pressure available was hardly 10 feet, of course, with pumping. And 
and the germination. This sewing was done by Shakti Bhatt. You can see the toilet block and you can see the cabin on the right, the growth of vegetation. And all agriculturists told me not to use maize, but it is a C4 plant and I knew C4 plant is very session much we have done. Maize is not a water demanding plant. C4 plant, anytime we discuss some C3, C4, we'll discuss that. This is chili and tomato. So what was this eight weeks before? Eight weeks later, it was this. You can see the cabin. You can see me on the right corner. This picture was taken by Shakti and Her maize have grown nearly six to seven feet. My irrigation fresh water volume is nil. In our academia and engineering courses, agriculture and sanitation should not be separated. They are two sides of the same coin. This was second case. An invitation to inquiry. At 3000 plus millimeter rain, cows are not for dairy. Govardhan story is there, but it comes from Govardhan. It is the cow dung that is your actual wealth. I saw a cow dropping the dung, which never flattened. So there was no water. So I asked the local people that why there is no water? What do, how, what do you do with the milk? How do you get it? They said, we don't use cow for the milk. No, not for dairy, but for agriculture. This is it. So did someone say rooftop harvest? This is rural India. When we talk about rooftop, we take it for granted that we have a regular RCC terrace. This is that. And the rooftop extension is at least five feet away from the column, pillars, brick pillars that we see. So during the monsoon, they have to collect their fuel. Entire for three, four months of fuel, they have to cover it. Can cost of drinking water? And we talk water democracy. Women have to walk nearly 30,000 hours. Here it is. Just focus on this. There was something shining intermittently. So I started to zooming in. Further, I saw women going down the hill with a pail of water. I mean, empty pail and then we'll bring water. This is more important. We all talk about putting pebbles in the rainwater recharge well around the peat and around the tube well and all that. Just focus on this area, please. Somebody, as I zoomed in, it was this. Soil was completely gone, 165 kilometer per hour. That is the speed of the rain droplets. And billions of droplets are bombarding the soil. 
there is nothing except hard rock that can withstand that. And this rock, when we break it, and this is this is excellent. Uh, I mean, it it conveys so much. We put rocks to gravel, to pebbles, and sand in the belly of the earth. And the future soil is compromised. Soil is withered minerals. One or two tube well and what rainwater recharge well is okay. But just imagine one million, as you are talking about thousand crore liters. Just think of one million tube well recharge wells and see how much of rock or mineral is lost. This is from National Geography. This was launched, this project was launched in California around 1960s. Park a car in front of your house and take a motorboat from the backyard off to the ocean. And that experiment failed miserably because they disturbed the sea rhythm, water rhythm, and they disturb the waves. But UAE refused to learn and launched Palm Islands. We know the state of that project. So the message is, do not disturb rock, sand, soil, and water. This is again Cabrada on 16th February 2014. This was a gully plaguing. We did it. I have th three friends with their spread arms just to give you the width of the rivulet. And see the water inside. On the left, you can see there's barely not even a bucket full of water. So we removed these stones and put plastic and laid them back. No cement, no construction. So before the drop of rain, before the first rain, this was the water. Hills are percolating. And when they percolate, it is acidic rain, which decalcifies all the structures. The river is filled, but this water on its journey loosens the hills. And all the landslide and all that phenomena we see these days is because of that. You, my wife and other friends, and even the cow. So, I had a friend with me, he's, a, he's an engineer, Sunil. We made a 10 by 10, 10 feet by 10 feet funnel, and with underground rainwater tank. Apurva's son was with me when we did this job in Kaprada. Kaprada is near Valsad. Now this is one more case. In a tropical climate, water requirement loan is considered 6 to 8 millimeter as, as per IGBC. And our experiment showed 0.8 millimeter per square meter water demand per day. So average sprinkler, I put it on this plastic sheet and see the water droplets. I collected this water, send it for analysis. Zero capital. So before collecting the water, I removed the hose pipe and took two bottles of samples, raw, sample, raw water, and then the collected water. The raw water sample had 2400 ppm TDS. And on the plastic sheet, it was 2800 ppm. So 16% of water was lost in transit, which is less than one second. 
sprinklers are unwise, not sustainable. So, is in, in less than a second, 16% water was lost due to evaporation. It increases soil salinity. And four years ago, I did a job at farmhouse near place down the line, down the hill line to Ukai. In the soil pH has gone to 9.25. There is no way anything can grow there. So we did this. You can see the subsoil irrigation pipeline being laid, then covered. Below the soil irrigation. So I I am not always in agreement with NBC and Dr. Hari knows it. So IG, IGPC recommends six millimeter per square meter. Ours was 0.8 millimeter. We need to review our codes, norms, policy. Because I don't know with what scientific input they were framed. Yeah, I think all my studies I have described. 